Okay, well here we are again. Thanks to a comment in my last video from James4 or James IV, however you say your YouTube username. The comment there, he provided a new link to download images for the Odroid C4. So that's what I have done and at his request I'm just doing another video here to show that they work as well. So I have downloaded the Ubuntu Minimal image for Odroid C4 and the Ubuntu server Odroid C4, whoops, yeah, image. There we go, so I've got both those downloaded, uh, used Etcher to burn them to a couple of micro SD cards, and we're gonna go from there and just show that they work. All right, so we're gonna try logging onto the minimal. So it should be login is Odroid, and password should be Odroid. Hey, there we go. All right, so yeah, there we are. All right, it reports the CPU a little bit differently. Uh, one thing about this one is it uses kernel 5.4.0 of Odroid uh, customization, or as Mate used a 4.9 kernel. Um, and then it's not installed, so HTOP's not going to be installed either. So if that's how you install HTOP, it's simple, sudo apt install HTOP, and give it the password, HTOP, and bam, there you go. And we can see it's got a lot less running processes to very start off with than the desktop version. The minimal you'll have to go and install most everything yourself that you want, but luckily um, the secure shell Damien is running from the start and you're already able to log on as uh, Odroid. Okay, so now we've got the Odroid C4 uh, Ubuntu server image installed and uh, running. We're going to log in here with Putty. Login as Odroid. Password is Odroid. All right, and this one here, I've already updated the uh, packages, so I've been in a little bit. It also did not have Nano or HTOP. Not surprising. Um, but uh, so I've, I've installed Nano on this one. We we'll use that to edit our bash RC. All right, and go down here to force color prompt equals yes. Uh, take the comment out. Control X, yes to save, and then just uh, another instance of bash. There we go. We've got color. All right, and uh, as with the minimal image, this has a lot fewer processes running from the get-go than the desktop image. Um, yeah, so there we go. All right, so all right, so this one, the Odroid Ubuntu server is running uh, kernel version 5.7. So the minimal version is running uh, kernel version of 5.4, and the desktop version is running uh, version 4.8. So you, I'm sorry, 4.9. So it gives you just the idea of some of the differences and uh, what capabilities you might have out the door. But uh, beyond that, I've not done any real testing. It just proves that it works. The Ethernet works, USBs work. So yeah, hopefully this hasn't been that terrible of a review. It doesn't provide a whole lot of information about the Odroid itself. This is just me showing that the Odroid C4, one of the newest products from Hard Kernel, does indeed work with the images that were provided.